<laughs> okay. It's true. <laughs> you think it's funny, it's totally true. Um, anyways, <laughs> I think it's funny too, honestly. But, um, so let's try this uh, reaction here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see already that this is different than the last reaction that we did. This is, first of all, a single replacement reaction, of course. <coughs> um, the last one, you guys remember, is a double replacement reaction, right? So, um, is this a redox reaction or a non-redox reaction? Redox. Redox, right? It's a redox, okay? So hopefully you guys can see that, and I know that you guys can. So, since it's a redox reaction, that means something has to be reduced and something has to be oxidized, right? Okay, so let's go about figuring out what that is, okay? And in fact, this is touching on what we're going to get to at the end of this lecture, but it's still okay to start now. So the first thing we want to look at is what the two ions, or the two metals, have done, right? So what we're seeing here is magnesium <coughs> is starting at a zero oxidation state, like that. <coughs> And it's going to a 2 plus oxidation state, like that. Okay? The other thing that we see, hopefully, is that Cu starts as a 2 plus oxidation state. and goes to copper metal, like that. Okay. So do you guys remember what we say, Leo the lion says grr and all of that stuff? The easy way, the easy thing to remember, I always think, is when I look at these numbers, the one that gets smaller is the one that's reduced. Okay. So which one of these is reduced? Copper. copper gets reduced. Okay? So copper gets reduced. That's how you spell that, right? <laughs> so copper gets reduced. So magnesium must get what? Oxidized. Oxidized, okay? So they're opposite of each other. Okay. So, so one second. So just like when bleach does the bleaching, right? So something that gets reduced, right, is, is gotten reduced by something else. Okay, does that make sense? So the thing that gets oxidized is the reducing agent, right? And the thing that gets reduced is the oxidizing agent. Why? Because this thing is oxidizing this thing, like that, okay? So just like bleach doesn't get bleached when you bleach things. It's the thing that the bleach encounters that gets bleached, if you want to think about it that way. Okay, so it's, for me, it's easiest to look at it through these half reactions, say which one gets reduced, which one gets oxidized, and then go backwards from that. Okay, so since this one got reduced, it must be the oxidizer. Does that make sense? Or the other one gets oxidized, right? So the thing that's oxidizing it must be the oxidizer. Okay. What if it went to like a like a zero to a negative two? That's still be, it's still being reduced, right? Zero to a negative two, yeah, it's still being reduced. Okay. Yeah. So if the number gets lower, that's reducing the number, right? right. Okay. Okay. Is everybody okay with that? Any questions on <laughs> reducing and oxidizing agents? Okay. Good question. 